while I strongly support Ukraine's valiant efforts to defend itself against Putin's invasion and Israel's need to defend itself against incoming rocket and missile attacks, I am deeply concerned that this legislation has no investments to address the needs of working families in the United States, 60 percent of whom are living paycheck to paycheck. And Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is also concerned that there are critical domestic issues that are going unnoticed here. Now is the time to pay attention to our own border in addition to these other important international concerns. And with talks stalled here on Capitol Hill between Democrats and Republicans on border security, independent senator of Arizona Kirsten Sinema says it shouldn't be a surprise to folks that more time is needed to reach a compromise. A lot of Austin on Capitol Hill. We appreciate it. And back again for the reaction to this now. <clears throat> Tony Schaefer and Fred Flights here. Tony, let's start with you, Speaker Johnson, saying sure. no Ukraine money unless we get money for the border to fix our issues there. What do you think about that strategy? So the border has to be fixed, period. We recognize, and just recent critical reporting said that uh, military-aged Chinese men are illegally crossing. That's a clue. And I think we have to be very vigilant to the fact that that open border is not only about coyotes and, and immigrants, uh, illegal immigrants. It's about actual potential terrorists or saboteurs coming across. we got to close it. On the other part of this, I've seen some wackadoodle comments by Dave Petraeus and General Hodges about the strategy. There is no strategy. Uh, I've commented here on the network multiple times over the last six months. It was never going to work. It's not going to work because you have people who are completely incompetent and out of their element uh, at the White House and in the State Department advising them. And General Zeluzhny, I feel sorry for him trying to run the armed forces in such bad conditions and being badly advised. So at this point, until we fix the border as a priority and actually have someone who can actually help establish an effective strategy that may actually do something to stop the Russians, that I'm not for additional funding. Fred, I want to see if there's any, there are any tea leaves to be read here. We just learned breaking news that Ukrainian President Zelensky will not be attending this virtual summit. There are other things that he recently has not been part of either. Uh, what do you make of that? Do you think that what's going on in Israel has uh, affected his view? Do you think this Mike Johnson suggestion about the border? I, I, just tell us what your intuition says. I sort of wonder whether infighting in Congress might have discouraged Zelensky from joining this meeting because he didn't want to be attacked uh, by the Republicans. And, and I think what Colonel Schaefer says is exactly right. There is no strategy. And that's the biggest thing for House Republicans. The counteroffensive in 2023 in Ukraine, it failed. The Russians may have actually gained ground. So House Republicans are saying, what is this money for? How, what will, how badly will it fail next year? They just want Biden to give them a plan. They actually would probably vote for the money if Biden had a plan to exactly. end the war or ceasefire. And I don't think Zelensky wants to talk about that. Hmm. Uh, I heard you you say, mm-hmm, there, Tony. Just about out of time, but I'm going to give you the last word there. But it's about 15 seconds. Fred is framing this correctly. I, I don't think anybody wants to pr provide Putin any advantage. With that said, Putin has been given advantage by the completely ineffective strategy. So if we're going to spend money, spend it effectively, uh, first on our border, and then figure out a way to actually win. If you're going to spend the money, let's try to figure out a way to win. And they're not doing that right now. Yeah, strategy and transparency also uh, seem like important things like here. That would which make is, sense. And it seems like we haven't gotten those things uh, exactly. Tony Schaefer, Fred Flights, always appreciate your insight. Thank you.